It's Monday. Actually, it's Monday and I don't even have a video for Wednesday yet. I mean, I got some videos in the works, but I don't, I don't know what to do. I should probably go see what's in the book, see what I can, what I can show you guys this week. Monday, the 3rd of December, 2018. I think today's gonna suck. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John Max. I'm a highly trained, unprofessional right here at Chad Uchi Harley Davidson. And on this channel, I bring you guys to work with me. So if you want to learn more about Harley Davidson, you should hit the subscribe button right now. All right, let's go ride. So you guys saw the title of the video, so you know good and well that we're gonna ride this trike in scorched orange and in black so I gotta go to the gas station we'll uh suit up go ride talk about the bike a little bit lots of new features for 2019 this is how I get on trikes by the way uh, it's got a 27 inch seat height which is really tall, but doesn't really matter if you're, you know, on a trike because you can't fall over. Got a new symbol there, traction control, new radio. Let's go ride. Oh, fun fact. See, I'm not in neutral. Pull the clutch in on a two-wheeler and you can start on a trike pull the brake in front or rear and the clutch now we can ride updates to the trike totally revamped with new front suspension new brake calipers ABS traction control on a trike is insane Obviously it has the new radio. It's a lot of stuff that I don't think the internet's really talking about yet because, well, FX DR, right? 114. The trike has a 114 too. It's needed that for a really long time. I'm pretty excited to see that, you know, finally the biggest heavyweight motorcycle of all of Harley stuff now comes with the 114. It's needed it for a while. There's no more need to big bore kit your trike to actually have passing power. The ABS and traction control means the control modules have changed left and right so that some buttons are moved around so you can turn it on and off. The rear suspension is different in that there's adjustment knob just like the soft tails have. They did mention in the technical forum meeting too that that will retrofit to 2015 and later freewheelers and 2014 and later trikes. So that's good for all you People that already own trikes, you can still upgrade your suspension. The front suspension has a dual bin technology suspension just like they did two years ago in the Touring models. It is a different valve system because of the weight of the bike and the rake and stuff, I'm sure. All in all though, big changes to the trike. If you've been thinking about one or it time for an upgrade, I don't know, there's stuff to look at on there for sure. So you might have noticed in the opening clip, there's a BMW S1000RR sitting there. I plan to ride that today too, since uh, you know there ain't anything going on in the shop. So, you know, make sure to hit the subscribe button because the Harley Tech's going fast in the future. Um, today we're, we're uh, well, we're driving normal because I got a brand new engine, 114 cubic inches as a matter of fact. All of these specs for this model will be in the link in the description. Just click the click the little blue letters. And it'll take you to the Harley Davidson website because I'm sure I'm gonna miss out on some features and things that you might want to know. One thing, the windshield. Not the factory windshield. We did put a clockworks, uh, probably one of the six or eight inches or something, you know, uh, much shorter than the stock trike clear windshield which is cool.
lots of really cool changes to the trike this year though that uh i've kind of been curious to check out i'm going to put some gas in this thing and take it around some turns see if it feels any different one thing that i haven't mentioned about the 2019s because i really haven't done any new new bike reviews this year is the clutch pack inside the primary the clutch pack there's a little dampener spring in there that has a new part Whee! i don't know why i like to enter this place like this but like that but i do well it's a little thicker now so it's supposed to um it's supposed to make the clutch release a little closer to the grip that's a common complaint on the hydraulic clutches i don't know if it actually is true or not i'll, I'll be honest with you but they're trying they hear your complaints they're doing something about it maybe i'll pay more attention after i get gas all right let's check that clutch it's about halfway out which is just nice way better than I don't, hopefully you guys can see that. It's way better than what it used to be. It used to be like way out here. We're already moving good by then. I'll be honest. The If you ride your two-wheeler every day, I think that's the bike that it really matters on. You know, you're letting out the clutch to make an immediate left or right turn from a stop. And it, it can be aggravating that the lever pull is way out there before it actually grabs a hold and gets you moving. For me, I ride a lot of different bikes and and they all they all release in a different place a little bit so it doesn't actually bother me but i don't have to ride the bikes that much either i ride them around the parking lot in the shop around the you know a couple miles down the road and then i'm done i think slow speed maneuvers is when the hydraulic clutch really really gets to you over a cable with the current recall out, a bunch of people were asking like why you would even go to hydraulic. Um, I answered in the comments a lot, but for those of you that didn't catch that, uh, it's purely a maintenance thing. See a cable operated clutch, you've got to lube the cable. You have to adjust, adjust the clutch pack and the cable every 5,000 miles, keep it all nice and neat. The hydraulic clutches, you flush the fluid every two years it's self-adjusting in the sense that as the pads wear like there, there's no adjustment to be made though the fluid level takes care of all that which is nice now i mentioned a lot of new features on the trike for 2019. there's some pros and cons to keeping models that kind of look the same all the time one of the pros is as the buyer your bike and car goes the same way. If a manufacturer doesn't change the look of the model every single year drastically, well then your model year, even though it's three, four, maybe five years old, it doesn't look dated at all. It looks the same. Well, as the manufacturer, it can hurt you in that this trike looks and feels the same as, well, it doesn't feel, looks the same as, well, 14 and later trikes, twin cooled engine, the Rushmore model vents, the, you know, everything is in the styling that it has been for the last five model years. But when you update the suspension, the brake calipers, you add ABS, you add traction control, you add all these features, well, if the look of the bike doesn't change, it's hard for people to even know that you've changed anything at all. Everyone can see the radio, but if from the side view of the bike it doesn't look any different maybe nobody even comes into the dealership to look at it at all so that's one reason why i really wanted to do a video on this bike is kind of to let you know the new features i'm already almost back at the dealership and i haven't even talked about how trikes handle in general obviously i'm not going to put traction control and all that stuff to the test because well it's not even my bike I trust though that they did something right. See the trike traction control is a little different than two wheeler traction control in that it, this is more like a car. The left and right wheels will spin at different rates through a turn. Traction control can help 
that uh, well keep one tire from spinning too fast and you know causing a an accident or what have you where a two-wheeler turn traction control on you may very well end up not doing a wheelie if you didn't want to do a wheelie and things like that now fun fact when you Generally, when you take a trike out for a ride, if you've ever done a... Now, what the heck is Connor doing out here? Hey, Connor. Now, if you've ever done a demo days, which is a really great way to ride new motorcycles, a lot of dealerships will pick up the, the whole truck the motor company sends out a trike trailer with all the models. Well, the trike is the only one they actually make you do a quick crash course. That's not a good name for that. They make you do a quick, like, figure eight in the parking lot to kind of get used to how a trike handles because it's really weird to you know be used to counter steering a motorcycle and then all of a sudden you hop on this bike that you if you want to go left you legitimately turn left and a lot of folks go trike because they're getting you know less strong and they can't hold their bike up the thing about a trike is it takes a ton my fans turned on. Let me go. Let me go park this thing. Well, a trike takes a ton of upper body strength. You have um, a stabilizer mounted to the fork and frame right there that keeps the front end nice and firm. But you also just generally have all of this weight, and you have the stabilizer that you are turning into the turns. Well. It's heavy. Parking brake. So it's a good idea to take one for a spin. Um, give it a give it a quick quick test ride before you actually buy because it may turn out that you need to be doing some working out to turn this big old monster. Let's go take a look at the bike. So I checked some more specs out. Apparently it's 1,200 pounds, this trike. The price of it is $38,500, for those of you curious about it. Take a quick look at it. It's nice having a job where content just shows up. Close-ups. So it's worth mentioning this bike is for sale on the floor. We thought we had somebody after it right off the rip, but he called back and canceled that order. So when you see this video, it's sitting on the floor over there. And that's pretty much the video for this week. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big dirty thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notification so that you know when I upload. If you haven't quite got your fix, there's a video here and here. Catch you guys in the next one. My name is John Max. I'm a highly trained unprofessional right here. <laughs>